Where's it gonna start? Final, Smashville, Château Assiégé. You can look at the French version right now. Choix du stage, Château Assiégé, Smashville. I actually like the fact that the Wii U is set in French, so that we also get to hear Sonic's voice in French. It's stupidly dumb. <laughs> no! And here they are, the fist bump. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Smashville, and Mike Griffith against Matt Corpse, Grail E. Re First match for this losers round eight. Top eight at Mars 2017, Mario versus Corin. So an excellent pick against Mario coming from uh, Great. I'm actually wondering how the uh, RPS for the character pick went. Really patient story right now. Just looking for each other. Just try to remember all they play, both of them. <laughs> kind of running to that counter right now though. Yeah. So pr pr perhaps some uh, matchup inexperience coming into play. That's probably the reason why uh, Grade is actually going for the gr for the current. Uh, he's uh, more than willing to go for for matchups that he knows uh, the other guy doesn't know, uh, because surprise is uh, as good as a factor in a match that uh, experience. So. Uh, coupled with the fact that this is actually a decent matchup for Corin, uh, regarded as one of uh, Mario's worst, could really well go into his side. But for now, the game is very even. If he tried to get him, and finally getting stopped by by Grail, but nice up to the landing. The second upper right after that air dodge. This is close, even though this is close. Okay, oh. neutral air fast fall, no problem. Corin oh. still making it back since she had her jump. Very oh. nice pivot grab. I was waiting for the landing, it was beautiful. Oh wow, again with this neutral beast. And we remember how Grail dropped the set against Glutony on a charge neutral B that was very uncalled for. That's true. But barely not taking it. That yeah, it wasn't optimal at all. That appear is strong, got to take care of it. Nice back here though. Okay. Throwing some fireballs. I'm expecting the counter if Griffith uh, throws that anymore. With that patience of Grail before that side B, man. A very tough uh -oh. set. Oh, very nice with a small charge on the second hit of neutral B. Very risky from Grail, but uh, this time paying off. And now he will try to just keep Mario away from him. Get those easy percentage <gasps> with a sword swing. Okay, nice neutral is stopping the back air up air now. Taking some advantage on that stock, but Griffith finding that up air. Will he close oh, it? That's it. Yeah. it! Didn't have a wall lot of option here. He could easily uh, try a, a counter, a down air, or an air dodge to the ground, but Griffiths were more than ready to cover all those options with a quick up smash out of shield. Okay, taking the, just staying in the center, trying to make the back air a nice cross up though. Okay, rolling around, nice super out of shield though. Forcing him to keep some distance, nice side B. Looking for the grab, but does not really find him. Okay, nice. Oh, the grab a bit too far, getting punished by those multi jab. Nice grab, finally. Oh, did yeah. I down on the down air? But, well, the air dodge is a good way to get out of this um, combo starter, but it's usually followed up by the frame trap. Mario just running after you. But in this case. I feel yeah. Sorry. yeah, go ahead. I feel like Griffith always missing his punish because of the platform of Smashville. Always great making some mix ups on the landing of that platform and just def definitely just. Per Lost Griffith in his punch game. But on the other end, Grail follow up really well with that platform. Okay, finally gets a little combo going. With a down throw to Uptil, I was a bit disappointed earlier, but right now he has a stage control off of his later conversion, so good for him. Trying to get him off the stage. Okay. Let me get the two frames, but missed it. Still catching him on that jump and that grab now at the landing. Oh, that yeah. was not an FTLT he wanted to do. Yeah, definitely uh, missed a buffer on his jump after the down throw. Oh, Maybe nice there. Nice to grab him. Okay, this isn't taking chill, obviously. Okay. Wow, Griffiths is going for very hard reads, even in his first game. Ow! And gets it! My god! Seeing that side V just sneaking in there and punished him with that dunk. He was like, okay, you like to press buttons, but you know what? You're leaving yourself wide open with this side B. Ah, nice with the side B, I loved it. I loved it, actually. Bad situation, right? We'll get Gash grabbed into a combo. The jump is gone. Very nice from Grail keeping his shield. Knew that it wasn't a, a simple neutral as it was coming up, but most likely a down air. Very nice back throw again. Throwing Griffiths off stage. 
Well, he tried to go for a ledge guard. Okay, that was a good call, but yeah, underestimated just a tad Mario's aerial mobility. Yeah, Griffith reacted pretty well on that. I love the back air to not getting pushed by the yeah, down B. Bad. Wow, the triple back air, okay. And Griffiths, just by playing collected, okay, finally drops it to a back air. This move is stupid strong. And so we're going last talk of this first match. Okay. Nice. Okay, so you get the, you get the ground, you get the ground. It's gonna be hard for, to land. Nice to try though this time. Nice back air, slipping away at the landing, not getting punished. Uh oh, that's that it back to you. Oh, no. And what did he try there? Super sloppy. Uh, then again, you, you need to be extremely precise with Mario with his quick and non lingering hitbox uh, on these kind of uh, openings. But it was definitely an enormous opportunity. Uh oh, Mario off stage, out of a jump. Yeah, great showing his head a bit early. Okay, oh wow, he's definitely scared. React, do something, do something, I'm ready, I'm ready. He does not want to get up smashed. At this point, there's no way he will die to a grab except at the very edge, so pretty good call on his part, but he does need to hit this Mario just like that with a side B. Double jump, he's gone again. Forces Mario off stage. Again, wow. Oh, just playing the punish game, very patient. And it, this time it's Griffiths losing his cool. Yeah, I feel like because Griffith missed his opportunity because of that paralysis that he uh, threw back to Grail. It's oh, like wow. losing all the rage on his back and nearly took this game. Grail in a bad time. spot. His turn to be off stage. Very bold. Neutral get up. Oh my god, oh my god. They make it back. Okay, little just... by little. <gasps> oh wow. No, not yet. Not yet. Just quite yet. The side B has been super stale, but drops. Wow. Nice by Grail. Overland like Griffith was just way in, oh, in, wow. in front of him. No, one more. Griffith not ready for this. Up strong. Terrible GI, but do, do, does not kill just quite yet. Neutral air. No follow up. Obviously, too much rage. Great. In a good posture to take this oh. game with a side B. And this will be it with a fist bump. My God, that's only the first game. That means the first game of that wall top A. The first game of the wall sets. We're going to see. Grail just going to grab some water. Definitely a <laughs> tough and tense game. Just held on that shield all throughout his last talk. He was like, okay, I don't think he can get anything out of a grab at this point. Not, not, not taking my stock at least. So let me just hold that shield and press side B every time Griffiths does, does something dumb. And fortunately for Grail, that happened quite a lot. Yeah, I, I really, really, really felt like because Griffith misses misses the opportunity on the paralysis, I feel he could have done an up smash, but I felt like he wasn't sure he could have done it because, mm -hmm. I mean, he rushed at him and then he jumped, double jump, and yeah. Corin just th uh, flew away like, just like really afterwards, you know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I feel like he... he had time to lead up smash. I feel like he wasn't really ready, he wasn't really sure it that he could make that. So he decided to make another plan. He missed it and that really impacted Yeah. Because if you ask me, game. it might be because, well that's just a personal theory, played for that, but it might be because he's used to um, ZSS paralyzer yeah, timing yeah, yeah. and wasn't quite sure how to deal with Corin's own timer on his paralyzer. So yeah. Oh, I can Shake. hear yeah, an interesting pick, the Sheik against Corin. Definitely a good pick, uh, a strong matchup uh, for Sheik, Whoa. but one of these matchups that you definitely need to be very cautious in because rage coring is absolutely horrendous for Sheik if she's not careful. She can die a person as early as 70 on a cheaper side B. So we'll see what Griffith can do, can pull out with his Sheik. That was a close call with Mario, but I, I, I feel like... Oh my! Oh my! Waiting for the air dodge! No bouncing fish, that's too bad for Griffith. And Ray will be able to make it back. A bit of a scary situation though. I feel like at the first game, you know, Griffith was the first one uh, on the on the... On the setup, and he picked Mario before Grey come. Mm -hmm. Grey picked uh, Corinne then, and uh, uh -huh. Griffith was like making tiny smirk, you know, like, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Well, if so you're really unhappy about that, you should ask for a double blind ping. Yeah, afterwards. that was too late. That was too late. Definitely, definitely. But I feel like even Grey already made his choice like, to yeah. pick Corinne. That wasn't mean in any ways. Yeah. But uh, Griffith was like, damn, I screwed. <laughs> so I feel like yeah. even if he won, that would have been a uh, switch of character. Yeah, and Grail has some experience in this matchup, and you can see it. E e evidently, he also has uh, experience uh, against Fox because uh, one of the best players in France in his region plays Fox. So he knows his combos <coughs> against the French followers. He just went for a down tilt, he just like that, again, down tilt uh, frame traps if you decide to air dodge after the down tilt. Wow, tough situation. 
a pair might soon kill. Very okay. nice punish from uh, Griffiths, starting to adapt to Karin's options, realizing that that, si that neutral B is very unsafe. I know Griffiths went to North Arena just a bit before. Oh! oh that's it, yeah. Nice upper. Might be played a bit with... Um, Ronnie? Ronnie, thank yeah. you. So he might have some knowledge about yeah. uh, Corin, but R not that much. Ronnie, basically, is the only current player in France, apart from Drail and another. Oh! oh! What happened? I didn't say it. I was making that. Up smash? Up smash. Okay. Up smash. Deep up smash. Right on the feet. Okay. Yeah, she is normally fast enough to finish that side B, but you need to be on point if it's perfectly spaced. Now look at that. Uh oh. I Terribly spaced forward there, uh, will get punished, stuck at the edge. Griffiths keeps reading into the edge when uh, Grail gains oh, no. stage control. Dropping his follow-ups. Oh, nice spot dodge, but Griffith waiting a bit too much. Oh, Griffith shake his head. No, 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 I'm not happy with that, I'm not happy with that. Let's go back in game, let's go back in the game. So many grabs coming from Grail, he's playing this swordman really well. Because it's always the same thing, you're afraid of getting hit by that sword. Like, eh, it has too much range, I need to get that shield up. And then you get grabbed for not much of a follow-up, not many percent. Uh-oh! Wait a second, okay, good okay. one. Yeah. De decent percent, didn't get like a perfect pivot something that could have uh, extended the combo. But still, scary situation, very nice, waiting for the counter. Double back here, <gasps> bouncing fish, tried to read the air dodge. Very nice. Oh wow, read the air dodge, but not with the optimal option. Still put our stage in a bad spot, we'll make it back in the end. Doesn't get ledge trap, bouncing fish, and oh. we'll take it. Wow, Griffith's putting on a lot of pressure on Grail. What a stock, man, what a stock. Just don't let him go, it just don't let him go at all. Definitely, like, the moment where he shakes his hands, shake his head, sorry, definitely switches his mind. Make it, make in, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> make it back to place. Okay, very nice, Grail. While on the, on the ground game, uh, Griffiths has clearly the upper hand. Every time uh, Griffiths is put in the air, uh, Grail seems to be the one to call all his uh, aerial movement. <gasps> that was scary, man. <laughs> I was afraid. Yeah, definitely. At this percent, it would definitely be it. That big Joe's of his hand. Okay, nice follow-up. That's all Griffiths needs at this point. Once Very again! Nice. I think the double jump is still there. Oh, no, it's gone. All right, oh, I think this scoring the is dead. The platform. Oh, wow. Oh wow, Frisé. Okay, nice jump to back air. Great, we'll make it oh. back. Oh, just nearly avoiding that up smash. Griff is misspacing his move just a tiny bit. Oh, oh. Yeah, it looks like a lot like the, as a first talk with that up smash. Oh, oh wow. he read that. Yeah, from a mile away, but didn't do anything. Oh, oh. Oh my, he lost the first talk, but right after, look at that, man, look at that, it's not letting him go. Seems really hard oh, for Grail to find a way! Just Griffith following him back, that beautiful neutraler fading back, light, and falling it with that up smash. Absolutely refusing to go for a nail dodge after getting hit by uh, Sheik's neutral air, but uh, yeah, even the neutral air, oh, his own neutral air couldn't protect him for that chipper up smash. And so the Sheik pick working out very well in his favor. One one. Impressive. Yeah. What's but coming? I, I suppose uh, he'll be staying chic. Griffiths, I mean. But, but what about Grail? So this is where it's starting to get interesting. Will this be a, a truly all out counter pick war, character counter pick war, or will Grail try to force it through, uh, taking into account the potential lack of experience from Griffiths? That's a good question, actually. That's a really good question. I would say. If you switch to something, you might switch to Bayonetta, not Mario, not in a matchup, I would say. You think so? You know, I, 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 could, I could definitely see a Bayonetta, but I could also see a Mario. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure... You think? Yeah, I think the Corrin is out at this point. <laughs> no, probably what? not. <laughs> no, no, not Rosalina. Uh, what's in that corner? Mario is in that corner. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, I could see uh, a Mario, uh, because... Uh, uh, sorry, Griffiths hasn't been quite perfect on his follow-ups. Uh, and you really need... Are you serious? No. We, we just heard in French, Rosalina. No, so they're just debating the stage, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I could definitely see uh, a Mario because uh, Grail <laughs> prided himself uh, on being a very neutral-based Mario. Uh, so I, I think he could see himself taking on Sheik's neutral-based... Uh, Griffith's neutral-based Sheik. Um, but yeah. But the point That's is like... 
Now they pick the ch they pick the stage. Then Griffith has to pick a p character, and then Grail has to pick a th his character. So that's what happened there. I yeah. think also Griffith was like, okay, if I pick that, he might pick that or that or that yeah. and blah blah blah. <laughs> so finally, here we are. Here we are, Lilat <laughs> and the Bayonetta. Grail will, will press that B button without a, a second thought. Like if he picks that stage, it's because he's in top eight, and he knows very well that he has to do everything he can to take on as much person as he can on this sheet. There it is, B button. And it's not like Sheik has no option against that, obviously. Actually, she's one of the characters that has the most options. But it's still a strong scenario for Bayonetta to be in. Why would you approach with a side B, though? Yeah, that was nice with the troll, actually. Making me that back air. There it is. Baiting uh, with uh, charging the neutral B so that he can uh, shield in time the bouncing fish. It's starting to turn into a small RPS game. With Griffiths finally acknowledging the fact that he needs to approach. Oh, nice air in the throw. Quite astonished, like Griffith did not get any move out of it. And that crawl, that crawl will be really important, it seems. But now here we are, the Bayonetta combos. The Bayonetta that, that did take out uh, Ice Studying at Smash Down World, for instance. Oh, that did uh, allow him to get into top. Uh, <gasps> oh, wow! Oh, my God! Oh, no cheaper Oh, smash. my God! Okay, we'll take the edge. We'll take the. Oh, let's jump going. No, he'd rather go back and charge on his needles. Actually, a good call because it's a. An Oh, wow, oh. that read! Grail! Very on point with the death reverse of Smash! That was, that was a great call. Definitely, Grail was ready for that. Okay, nice double shield by Griffiths. Does not find anything, unfortunately, because of the tilted of the stage, I would say. The back edge didn't hit his shield, so I think it missed time his, uh, his counter attack. Okay. And you can see Griffiths knows that he cannot really play the long distance game. He can barely use that time to charge his needles. But is it entirely in his favor though? It's not like the needles, like aerial needles, are uh, uh, the strongest option on this stage like Lilac because the platform will just mess you up, the tilting will cancel, your rotor cancel, and the combo is going on. Very nice percentage right done by Grail. Just going for the A button combos and going for the top. No, spot dodge coming up. Very exactly nice. what I wanted to say. Griffith is trying to get stick to Grail to to just make make him uh, make him do a weird movement and just punish him. And exactly what happened. Okay, well, they were on the platform that was even worse for Grail. But it's like that way. He's far, he's throwing needles, playing a bit with the platform, trying to get close. And when he's close, he's just moving around. Now finding a good opportunity. D decent combo, uh, but within allowing. Grail to get out of it, but just at the end, so yeah, he's still, uh, Grail, Griff is still got state control, very poor uh, move of choice, his choice of moves is up tilt, very nice, punishing his landing. He waited a lot, knowing he used a lot of his up B and side B, he knows the landing will be really long, so he waited as much as he can, or probably waiting for that witch time also. Okay, the French Black Sheik currently with a very small lead. Yeah, really small, really, really small, and not the positioning at all. Okay, this little, I, I'm just here to tell him, like, look, I don't really need to approach you. And then Grail is like, well, yes, well, we don't, we don't like that, you know, so yeah. You're the one approaching me, I don't care, I'll press that B button. Oh, that don't you have reached him. Yeah. Okay, good call from Griffy, he's going high above Grail, not looking to fall into any kind of back air. Oh, a bit too far for that grab. Nice, catching that roll with his dash tag. Nope. Okay. Oh, no! no. Yeah, he's not making it bad. The stage tilted just a little towards him, but too little. Obviously, that was a bad call on Griffith's part anyway. Okay, uh -oh. is this okay? Uh -oh. No, no, it's she. Okay, she should be all right. Could have been huge. Oh, a bit too far. Nice fair. Just waiting a bit. Super patient. Again, calling it. Oh, oh wow, the reverse, reverse hitbox on the fair. Too bad, could have been the stock. And Maybe not, but. Uh, I'm not sure. Perhaps if the fair was fresh, that could have been it. Oh, a bit too far! And Griff is showing his end. He's starting to, lo starting to lose his cool. Is this it? Is oh! this it? My god! Just a tiny push, that tiny, tiny push. One of the day we're not getting hit by the open or anything, but we don't care. We don't care. We get 140% of rage. That just that tiny bounce will be enough to take that stock away. 2-1 now for Grail. Uh, 
Definitive clutch play. He did have the lead. He did sense that uh, Griffiths was looking for new mix-ups. That, that dash-up smash was quite horrendous from Griffiths trying to punish Dre's landing while, while he was way too far away. But now it's ta Griffiths' turn to play on his counter pick, so no way uh, they'll be going on Lilat. So, for instance, if he decides to stay in this matchup, he'll be able to, to throw way more needles and force Dreidel to approach him. Yeah, who is he gonna pick also? Who could he pick? I think at this point he'll probably stay Sheik. We won't see his DSS uh, because it's a pretty bad matchup for her uh, against Bayo. So at this point, it's in, in my opinion, it's either, it's either Mario or Sheik. You think so? Yeah. Do you see Fox? No, no, I, I, I don't see it, and I don't hope for uh, Griffith's sake that he does, because as we've said, uh, Gray lives in Nice, and in Nice, uh, in Nice lives the probably the biggest French uh, hidden boss, Yas, <laughs> yes. uh, uh, Fox player. <laughs> where is he, by the way? Yas, where are you? Yeah, he, well, he did his uh, yearly tournament. We have to wait for another six months because it was a, he was a smash and world. So <laughs> that's the rule: only one tournament every six months. And yeah, Yas is basically He's the back. best fox in France. Anyway, Mario. yeah, so again, the counter pick war going on. We might go full circle after that with uh, Corinne Mario if he takes this game. So we're seeing our final destination, flat stage, no platform nor anything. How will Drail handle this, for now, fireball heavy Mario? Okay, he'll just be his way through him apparently. Good combo going on this time. Griffiths is not disappointing with his follow-ups. Hey, see him roll on him, I was like, no man, I'm gonna up you. Nice. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice back here. Yeah, always jumping with that fireball. Little by little, great adapt. <laughs> and now try to catch him a bit on his jump. Once again, drive that side B, but unfortunately Griffith stay on the ground. Yeah, great is bad. Like, uh, every 20, 30 seconds, Griffiths is doing these full hub fireballs just to tell Dre, yeah, what you're gonna do, bro? Like, what's your option? Pick one, and it hasn't worked since f since the beginning of the game, and every time it actually got worse for uh, Dre. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, nice day out. Don't risk getting spiked in this situation. Oh! That Druid, man! Just only he made that fair in the shield, he knew he's not gonna make it again, so he was ready for that side B to get back on the center of the stage, take him back that stage and he was ready roll back up smash here we are combo going on lots of percent basically a full stock lead wow really a dodge but yeah misplaced it Griffin looking strong on that game nice one back oh, up oh. to side b couldn't get the upper too bad for drain okay with a late upper might might have been an attempt an attempt at a frame trap but didn't get anything out of it in the end oh oh, well, oh! that's it Okay, no, just didn't charge it quite enough. Nice down tilt. Wow, so, so many rolls, but fighting that turn around the grab. Great ready, but oh. for you was a bit too far now with that back throw. The, see the stock, three stock to one now. Well, it seems the counter pick worked very well in uh, Griffiths' favor. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna see a best of five, man. Earth, uh, five yeah, games. Yeah, game, definitely. Okay. Oh, maybe not, maybe not! Dre will, will always with a strong fundamental. All these up smashes have been just super hard reads. Like an air dodge to that up smash would have definitely protected Griffiths. Nice back here, the fair now stopping him. That was a close call. Okay, yeah, okay. The is starting, yep. Very nice. Super nice actually. Waiting for the air dodge. Nope, just goes right for it. Was expecting Dre to, to not air dodge. Come in with that nair, yeah. that pulls in air. I don't care, I'm Mario. I have mobility. And we are back for you with the fireball. It's been a while. Double back here. Oh, Missing wow. the grab, but finding this one after the rollback. Oh. Is this double jump gone? No, okay. He, he just kept it, so the fireball coming. Okay, now he jumped from the edge, that was nice. Dread is not feeling confident. Even, even with his pacing, his aerial, that's it, gets the back up to dash grab. Oh, is that a kid? No, no. My, oh, yes, no. it is! I'm wrong. Wow. Very nice from McGrady. This is probably the best shot he has to bring his game back. 
Will we see a three-star comeback? We, we, we are seeing, though, a lot of empty jumps from uh, Drail, and in that situation, that's just begging to get dashed with a step smash by Mario. I think he's just looking for a few more percents. That's why he's sending the fireballs, just to make sure the up smash will kill, and then he'll just fish for it. I do agree, I do agree. Fighting the dare. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Don't yeah. throw. No more, no. That's more. Oh, no! Wow. Too late! Bayonetta is a pretty good character, guys. Oh, once again, oh, well. you want it. Once okay. again, I, I, I just hope that it's not going to finish as the first game, like just missing opportunity and then just yeah. lost his game because of it. Yeah, absolutely, on the paralyzer. And just there, speaking of missing opportunities, Great got a fair one, and I think he wanted to convert it with a, an up air, but I did a fair two instead. Oh. And yeah, right now, he does not, he does not find jump. any move on him. Just some up air and some stuff, but nothing really strong. He has to run away. Okay, that's sloppy. Try to wait for the, the witch time and get a strong punish, but it didn't happen. Getting out of here using bad cuisine on the roll. He was grabbing a lot after that back roll, so I think it was like, okay, you're gonna wait for that uh, for that grab. So I'm looking for oh, something wow. else. Okay. So Grail uh, deciding to use his witch time as a resource to approach and not to, to try and catch an approach from Griffiths. <gasps> oh wow. And you can see from the character body movement of Grail that he's feeling really confident. He's not. Uh, abusing his shield or anything. He's just content walking forward towards Griffiths, cornering him just by his sheer presence. And Griffith kind of lost. He's just losing some person and person and person, little by little. Uh oh, okay. Dread with a hard read once of uh, which time. Oh my god, oh my god, this is so tense, double jump away. Yeah, just just content getting that up there after all. Does not want to get a bit of the top. Okay. All those rolls, my it. god. Yeah, get the grab but couldn't get anything. That'd be kill move! Two two, <laughs> both of them, <laughs> both of them getting up. They are so upset, and this game was so incredibly close. My God, we could hear Grail shout. No, that three-step comeback was just so close by Grail, so close. But finally, finally, after so much shaking from Griffith, finally fighting a hand, catching that bayonetta, finally yeah. getting her. I was like, I'm gonna make the simplest combo of all time. I was like, just to make that. When word. he got that read, I was like, that's it. But then I realized it's a grab. He's not getting the kill of it was anything. But maybe from down through up B. Wow. And he did. I think it was a main surprise from Gray. I think with a good guy, he shouldn't die from that up B. I think with a good guy uh, on both a down throw and a B, he should have been fine. But yeah. yeah. Didn't see that coming. No, no, Too no. Too much pressure going on. Oh my god. And Gray was playing so well. Like, I'm actually really dazzled by how. how, how how cool he, he stayed during the, this whole last talk. He was basi basically one smash away during the entirety of this uh, talk, and Griffiths was trying to gain, st gain back stage control uh, using the flood, trying to get some fireballs, anything. But Dread was like restless, just super solid, but couldn't take it in the end. So we're going into these two, two situations. They're both in losers' brackets. Which of the. These, these are actually. Uh, Neil is the best player of their regions in France. Neil is the best player in Paris. Neil is the best player in the Marseille Nice area. Which one of them will try to go further into this loser side of oh top man. eight? Oh man, but now Grey could pick Griffith first pick and then Grail will pick. Will he pick Corin? Will he stay to Bayonetta? Will Griffith switch to Sheik or stay Mario or even another one? I think this is a bet. No, yeah, no. I think everything is a bet. I think if Griffiths stays, Gray will switch because even though the game he, he showed in the last talk that he could potentially take this game, he did have a lot of trouble getting comboed for too much percent. Had trouble finding the big opportunities, and you can see, okay, Gray is he's not sure about what to do. He's letting the the, the choice get to his head, and it might be. Um, a, Showing that uh, Griffiths is extremely used to playing 30 characters, while Grail is used to playing one character for the entirety of the set. So that's true. That's true. He's not sure about what to do. Uh, I personally, I, I imagine <sighs> Griffiths uh, has decided to stay, to switch to Sheik, but yeah, you, you, you can feel their thoughts, man. You can feel the thought, the wave. Look at that, look at their face <laughs> of reflection right now. They're just thinking. Grail is just thinking, petrified. Thinking, thinking. 
What you gonna do, boy? Okay, okay. Now now Griff said what he what what his choice was, now it's Griffith's choice. So now it's like Griffith picked the is the stage. Griffith is choosing his character right now. And the crowd is all gathered watching that on the retro video projector. So high. Okay, Mario. Mario. The Mario pick. So, so Corinne. Corinne, yeah. Of course. Corinne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. Here we are. What's Ladies stage? and gentlemen, Grail against it? Griffith. Smash game five. And as the first game, Smash yeah. Veal. The, the circle is complete. We're back at the beginning. Very nice. Small percentage. Nope, the cross up. Obviously, I read that wall from a mile away. She was like, okay, I crossed up you. You missed the grab. Now you're panicking. You're rolling away from me. And Griff is already showing that even if the, bad, the characters have changed, he's still got kind of a great number. Very nice. These grabs, man. They were working so well for Grail, uh, for, yeah, for Grail game one. Not surprised to see them coming back again. Just calling it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow! Drift is with a nearly optimal punish on that side B. Oh man, would have been so huge. Oh. Again, but this time Jail yeah, was uh, facing the right direction. Uh -oh. Getting punished very good from Griffiths. Not getting called, uh, not missing that opportunity. Very nice reading the, uh, the taking place, but not really quite in time. Oh, nice. Catching that side B. A bit late on that grab, though. And the red just reacted at the back roll. Just moved right after taking back the center. But now it is not Bayonetta, so again, I jump fireball. It's gonna be way harder for Grail to catch those. Yeah, even though Corinne with her own counter can kind of play it like, oh wow, gets a cheaper, good GI obviously from uh, Griffiths, not in from that. And remember how the, the last talk of first game played out with Grail absolutely adamant about keeping his shield up. He was like, okay, you, you spam those up smashes and I'll just punish you. Just like that. So going for the punish game. Yeah. While you're unable to punish the side B away. And oh! the F smash and the landings. The cheaper of this move is monstrous and covers so much space. And now, Drake has the lead. Already playing the platform game. Griffith smile. After taking that forward smash, cheaper he smiled. No, what? Well, good. Wow, that's the freest. Oh, no. The freest side B I've seen. Wow, okay, Grail, I hope this is not going to your head. Keep you cool. As for Griffiths, he's more than happy to reset this match to stock each, 0%. Throwing fireballs, throwing fireballs, and portioning everything. Yeah. The so counter, yeah, the counter. little lag. Uh, not sure if uh, Griffiths knows. Oh, wow. Wow, it didn't get. To, I think he wanted uh, Grail to slide off the platform. Could have been something mean going. Oh my god, this is so tense, man. This is so tense. <laughs> Just looking at each other, trying to make some tiny move, but barely missed each other all time. Just covering the movement. Yeah, nice very grab, nice. though. Yeah, calling the dash shield from uh, Griffiths. This time it's Griffiths calling the roll from Drain. It's been twice this game already. Okay, nice there. The down air finally working for Drain. Lots of attempts and a few successes. Very nice pivot grab. Just not. Gonna reach on it. Oh, so many there at the landing punished by Grail right now. Oh, I, I was, yeah, I wouldn't have killed his uh, side which was a uh, nice zone, but still. Beautiful side B by Griffith. Just delayed a tiny bit his landing and putting that back uh, right after. Grail staying on center, man. Finally, Griffith taking it back. No, the uh -oh. counter yeah, was really telegraphed. Griffith is more than happy than ta than to take this down throw to two uppers. Oh, oh wow. from so high in the sky, man! Just catch him from so high. I was like, jump, double jump, fair. I do not care, man. I will catch you. And Kevin was like, no, no, I, I just got baited into a counter just before, so I'm not dodging. I'm not jumping over. I'm not doing anything. And Griffiths was like, yeah, I, I do know that actually. And he took such a huge lead. Let's see if Grady is somehow able to bring it back when all these games were all rather. This is the biggest thing we've seen apart from that whole uh -oh. game. But you know, since earlier, Griffiths was kind of the lead and then getting, uh, starting to become yeah. back kind of, and then just drop the game always, always, always at some point. Grail shows his uh, stability and his strongness in his mentality, so we'll see what can happen right now. Grail needs wow. to stay wow. focused and solid during that last stock of his. That was away, okay. So he got away with that, but I'm not sure the neutral B was actually voluntary. Finally gets a grab. 
Gets Mario off stage, could be a dangerous situation. Very nice, I think he used his jab already, but Mario nails his way through to the ground. Could be dangerous. Okay, a pair? Nope, not going for it right away. F smash! Oh no, try to win an air dodge towards the ground. Yeah, not, not getting it. And again, but that for smash cheaper! Here we are, last match, last stuck in between Griffith and Grail. And Griffith collecting his thoughts, thinking, all right, I remember this scenario. I was already in the lead when we played that other game, and then he just kept pressing shield. Look, maybe I should try it. Oh, well, very nice time to throw back him. Mix up. That's scary, man. That's scary. Griffith completely solid. Okay. The platform just making him bounce. That's so tough. Well, I, I, I think a, uh, an up smash will definitely take it at this point. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh. Down throw. Tries to read something. It does not happen, though. Yeah, I mean, also catching those double jump out of the of the, of the the down throws. Maybe he was aiming at the, at the narrator this time. No, at least not aiming take back the stage. Again, we see those shields from Grail. He's more than happy to oh, nice press up. shield and try to punish Grail, uh, Griff. What is going on the offensive? Grail staying on the ground, just making his shield moving around. This is where we, we see once again his soul is how solid he is. Just staying, just yeah. swaying, just sticking to his plan. Last his game was last yeah, actually plan. just like that. Like exactly. Huge lead for uh, Griffiths. Nice. Double nice. That's the name of this move actually. <gasps> oh wow. Full punish. He tries to read it again. The grab. Griffith only fighting grabs now, yeah. only fighting grabs. No back air, no aerials, no anything, just grabs. Well, he knows that at this point, he basically needs to play his cool, collected game and just not get upset, so he's playing conservatives. Perhaps too conservative, but for now it's working out. He's not in danger. Double jump is gone. No. Oh, oh. It's back air! Oh, no, it's not. No double jump, in a terrible spot at the edge. Double jump is gone. Grail immediately running away. This is tense. We might actually be going into a timeout situation if both players keep playing this defensive. A terrible situation. Uh -oh. Very nice. I think the bunch of is gone. Yeah, yeah it very is, nice. It is. He's still gone. Oh, oh doesn't charge oh, the grab. Back throw, is that it? I don't think so. Yeah, Corinne is still a mid heavyweight. No oh, this is yeah, this gets one! It. And that's it. This is what it is. Get the back throw. Trail. Wow, Griffith takes it 3-2 against Gray on the close tough call. My God! Wow, and Grail did mix his, like, he, he, he did a, a regular getup, and uh, Griffith was not expecting that. He didn't react in time to the regular getup, but he was like, okay, what's his usual go-to in this situation? He's scared. He tends to run away. Let's go for it. And he did, and he got the grab.